not exactly sure, to be honest. In the, in the context of the world right now, I wouldn't be able to even answer that question, I don't think, so. Righteous, um, you know, living true. True to yourself and true to everyone else. You know, not being deceitful, I suppose. It's got a lot of different meanings, you know, like, just don't do, don't harm anybody. Don't do anything like you wouldn't do to harm yourself. I don't, I'm not sure because I'm not religious. <laughs> he's saying that all of those who seek after him, because he's righteousness, are blessed. Because we can't be right by ourselves. And so seeking to um, get to know him is, is what makes us blessed. Well, I, I was thinking about maybe seeking righteousness is seeking Jesus, like Jesus was, is righteous, and maybe seeking righteousness is seeking Jesus and seeking to follow him. And, and yeah, following him means having the same attitude, developing the same attitude. It may not be perfect because you're a human, but a willingness to follow Jesus and develop in yourself those areas of your life he wants to see developed and that. Walk the path of Jesus, I suppose, pretty much, yeah. Well, it's pretty much about the, um, the individual trying to do the best they can do, you know, and not conforming to the crowd. Uh, the people in the community who could have power or would seek to have the power to help those around them who, who desperately needed it. That means uh, love your neighbour. That's, 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 that's the main thing that I, I can understand. I think it provides more satisfaction. I don't think it makes you more righteous, but I think it provides satisfaction for the self and, and it certainly makes the world a better place. Yeah, I believe so because uh, at the end of the day, if you help others at the same uh, at the same time, there is something that that you will be rewarded. It may be not in mature things, but be probably in a other way that probably God has planned for you. It depends on on what their their uh, reason for working with the poor is, whether that's for helping the poor or for you know, making themselves feel better or whatever. Honestly, I uh, had a thing for a girl who was into social justice and I had nothing, but I was just trying to you know, impress her and pick her up. So I went along with that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, it, it, sort of, it sort of caught on. Um, I mean, there's like the basic things of what I buy, where's that coming from? And so if I can support um, things that are fair trade or um, like cooperatives and that sort of thing, then that's gonna be really positive. Um, thing to do. Even if I go to somewhere to buy something, I've got five cents, ten cents in my pocket, I'll put it in a, in a charity bin in front of me, or if I walk past someone, I'll never keep the change, I always give it to someone every day of my life. Because I don't need the change, but everybody else needs that change to make the change. By me moving, by me changing, uh, everybody else is going to change. That's what I think. At the moment, because I'm a family person, I probably look on how to um, just to be more help my family as well, and then at the same time, um, my other fellow friends. Probably that's, I think, I, I have to do more. I suppose it's the old, um, be tr treat other people how you want to be treated. Um, that, that really gets, that's the bottom line, I suppose.